What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Homebook Workshop today. Something a little bit different. We are going to do a quick unboxing video. Check it out. Now I don't do too many unboxing videos. I think I've only done one. I wanna to try to do one with this because I'm really excited about checking this out. It took quite a while, almost two full weeks for this to get here. It was driving me nuts for the last week or so. Every time the mail would come, I would run out to the mailbox, sometimes a couple times a day, waiting for this. Now, if you're familiar with this logo, you will know exactly what this is. But if you're not, this is a branding iron that I ordered from Budget Branding Irons. Let's pop it open and check it out. Now, how did I come to the shop? Pulled out a knife on me. Now I'm gonna do an unboxing video with the Lousy little snap off <laughs> utility knife. All right, handle with care, fragile. Hopefully it was handled with care. Oh boy, useful information. Let's read this really quick. Never submerge your branding iron into cold water or snow. To cool it off. This can damage it. I can imagine. You don't need a lot of pressure. Never use excessive rocking motion. The branding iron is not a toy and must be kept out of children's hands. I will remember not to allow Haley to brand things with it. So let's open this guy up. Now I opted for the electric iron because I really didn't want to mess with having to heat it up with a torch. That's not a difficult operation or anything, but I figured the electric one would give me more consistent results. Whether or not that was right or wrong, you got a home built workshop and this one here, which is going to be Haley Guitars. I do need to give big props and thank yous to the team at Budget Branding Iron. This logo for Haley Guitars, I needed it to fit in a certain area on the headstocks of my guitars. And I was able to send them pictures and dimensions and a lot of information. And they were very helpful in working with me to figure out the shape that I needed to be in order to get this to fit where I need it to fit. So thank you guys for being so helpful in getting this figured out for me. Let's learn about this thing really quick and get it fired up. How to use your electric branding iron. Once you plug it in, you gotta let it warm up for 10 to 20 minutes. I'm reading this right off of here. I'm learning it as you are finding it out as well. So before we plug this in, let's take a look at it. We have the head at the end where we can attach our brand. Oh, okay. Threads on and off. Looking at our other brand, yes, it is threaded on the back. We've got our heating element on off switch. A nice strain relief here. Let's jump right in, because I know you guys want to see it as much as I do. Switched it on. Ooh, I hear it cr crackling and crinkling. Ooh, we got a little bit of that new car smell coming off it. <laughs> While that's heating up, I'm gonna gather up a couple of scraps of wood to test this bad boy out. So like it says in the instructions, there is some smoke coming off of it, and um, actually quite a bit. It's kind of smoking up the place. Had to open a window and got the door open, so it's gonna clear out real quick, but I think this thing's heated up. I've noticed a color change on the brass. In fact, you can probably see it on the camera. Do you see that color difference on there? Let's brand something. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, that's cool. Oh, a little too much, a little too long. Really, it only takes like five seconds. Yeah, five seconds. Wow, that's super clear, clean. Holy cow. So now I've switched out the brand for the Home Built Workshop brand. Let's see what this does. Oh, cool. Look at that. Look at that. Burn something else. I need some more scraps. Burn this thing. Burn everything. I'm gonna be burning everything for days. 
It's got to practice this thing. How do they get such fine detail out of these? That's crazy. These things hold heat for an incredible amount of time. So definitely don't just set this down on something. So I can already see that I'm going to need to make some kind of a stand. It's very heavy at the front, so you can't you can't lay it down because it, it wants to tip. So I gotta I gotta figure out a, a good way to be able to set this down. That could be maybe a project video coming up. Cool. Well, after I've branded, I like everything in the shop. I've done probably a hundred test pieces, just playing around, getting used to the timing, how I have to hold everything to figure out how long I need to hold this on there to get a good print. I have found, and it says in the instructions as well, to test it on a scrap piece. And I found so far anyway, just in the limited time that I've used this thing, that that is definitely true. And you wanna do a test piece before every time. After letting it sit, you need to know where that temperature is based on my limited experience. Before I go to brand anything, I'm gonna do a test piece just to make sure I know exactly how hot it is and how long I need to hold things on there. I got brands on everything right now. And this is really cool. I'm really, really happy to have this thing. It's finally cooled off. I can touch it now. There's a tiny bit of heat left in there, but it does say in the instructions if you need to clean this to use a brass brush and you can just brush that off. I think I will put some marks on the back to tell me which way is the top. I found that sometimes I get it switched up and I want to brand things upside down. So another good reason to do the test piece, make sure you don't grab it backwards because that would really be a drag if you got everything done and then you branded something upside down and you have to sand it off. Overall, the quality of these things is amazing. I honestly don't know how they get so small with their letters in there. I don't know how they can carve such small detail, what kind of machine work that would require. It's pretty amazing that they can get that small a detail. Pretty impressed. But anyway guys, that's all I have. Just a quick review and demonstration of the budget branding iron electric iron. Now a lot of people have the torch heated ones. The reason I didn't go with that is because I wanted to try to get as consistent as possible and I felt that this might be the better option for me. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the other ones. From what I see when you heat it with a torch as soon as you see this color change that's a good indicator that you're at the right temperature and you can definitely see the color of this change as it's heating up. It'll go from this brass color this bright brass color to more of a coppery color there's definitely a color change that happens in there and you can see this has already got a little bit of discoloration on there just from getting so hot but that's nothing to be worried about if things gonna be fine everything seems like it's excellent quality so thanks a lot for watching this video guys i hope you found it helpful and maybe it answered a couple questions if you had any if you're thinking about getting a branding iron don't forget to check the video description for some helpful links and until next time thanks for watching this episode of home built workshop where handmade is always better than store-bought uh, uh, uh.